Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geeky Lemon Development and welcome to part 4 of our web application series of tutorials. Now in this part we're going to add a custom image to our activity indicator. This gets rid of the basic and simple rotating kind of circly thing and replaces it with our own images bringing a unique look and feel to our, any of your applications. So before we start, we need to add some images. I have four images already set here. You can see it's the Geeky Lemon logo, and it's just been rotated into four ways. So when we rotate the activity indicator, it looks like the logo is spinning. So we just simply add those into our uh, supporting files there. So as you can see, have our first one, second, third, and finally our fourth one. This kind of completes a full circle round. So to add these in we go to our view controller button and we simply add these to the view did load. And we start by simply doing new i image space asterisk and I'll simply do status image space equals space bracket UI image again image named and in the highlighter section here we're simply gonna do at symbol quotation mark, quotation mark, and I simply put in the name of our first image we want to be displayed. So end that with a bracket and a semicolon, and then we do UI image view, space, asterisk, and I'll do activity, uh, image view, space, equals space, bracket, bracket, UI image view space alloc and after the bracket there we do init with image and then we do the name of our UI image which we call it status image and finish that with a bracket and a semicolon. Once we've done that we need to now add the rest of our images that we want to play in a uh, one after the another to kind of create that animation kind of spinning image effect. So what we do is activity uh, image view dot animation images space equals space bracket ns array space array with uh, objects and then we do we simply press we can simply do enter and do a bracket UI image space image named at symbol quotation mark quotation mark the name of our first image and in that way bracket and a semicolon now if I just simply copy this and do it four times just to save a little bit of time but making sure the very last one has a comma and then nil and after that a bracket to close it up a semicolon and then simply change the name of our image files just there. So now when the image plays, it's going to play our first image, our second, third and fourth. Much like how we um, play animations in our other tutorials. So then after we've done that, we now need to create the um, other little bits such as the alpha, the duration, where the frame is going to sit in our activity indicator and basically to get it to start animating. So what we do first is we'll do our image alpha. So activity um, image view dot alpha. We're gonna set that to one. You can have it preset how you like, and um, you know have it set halfway so it's kind of transparent. But we're gonna do it to full effect to one. And then again we do activity image view dot animation duration. So this would be. Um, how long we want it to go on for the animation. So we're going to set it to one second. So it means it take a whole second for it to complete the cycle of four images. And now we do it again. Activity image view. And this time we'll do the uh, we'll do the frame for this one. So dot frame. This will be where we do the equal space. Um, this is where we want it to be displayed in our activity indicator. So rect uh, make. And the first one, I've already got it preset how um, I want it to be set out. So if you can do, if you want to copy yourself, or you can do a bit of playing around, it really depends on how big 
your image is or how big it is in um, height or width. It really depends on the image file itself. But I have some preset ones for the images that I'm using. So minus 8, 0, and the width is 50 by 50. There we go. That's how big I want it to be anyway. So finish out with the bracket there and a semicolon, and then press enter. This time we do a bracket activity indicator, and this will be to start animating. So once it all loads up, it's going to start animating our custom image view. And then we're going to do a bracket um, activity ind add sub view. So just like how we were adding sub views to um, our web view for our activity indicator, we're now adding another sub view to our activity indicator to display our custom activity indicator. Bit mad and it goes on and on, but you know it's going to look pretty decent in the end. So what we do is name our sub view activity image view. Let me end that with a bracket and a semicolon. So that's really all the coding that's needed there to add our own custom activity indicator. There's only one thing left to do, and that's to jump into our storyboard.m. Is set the image alpha, or the um, alpha of our activity indicator to zero. So instead of doing it to alpha here to zero, this will mean it will hide our custom one as well. We need to go to the color and simply drag it down to the opacity to zero. So that means when we build and run, you cannot see the original activity indicator underneath our custom one. So if you build and run now, you can see our custom image rotating as our activity indicator. So now if I search for the Apple website, and load it up there, so you can see our activity indicator, I can even refresh it. So our custom one rotates around, so that's simply how you create a custom activity indicator. So I hope this tutorial has helped, and more importantly, I hope this whole WebView application series has helped. And I hope it's the basics for you to create some brilliant and amazing own web applications. So if you've enjoyed this series, make sure you like, favourite, and uh, share it. Leave us a comment if you did enjoy it. And uh, most importantly, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe. There's going to be so much more tutorials coming along the way. So again, if you haven't, make sure you like and favourite and, and uh, like and follow us. Sorry, on Facebook and Twitter. Check out all the apps which are currently on the App Store by simply searching Geeky Lemon. And again, most importantly, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you all next time in our next tutorial. Come on, Bob. Come on. Come on, Bob. Oh, I got it in my pinky. I got it in my no, it's not my pinky. I got it in my finger.